Now, is that Eric Gordon? Yes, it's Eric Gordon. How are you? Good morning. This is Elizabeth, the court reporter. Hello again. Hello again. Um, that's Eric Gordon for the DOE, and it's going to be Ariel Dahan, D-A-H-A-N, for parent. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. All right, we're all here. We can go on now. It's 1134, and you're on the record. Thank you. This is the hearing of Sylvia Pollock, 232792. My name is Bruce Olinger, impartial hearing officer for the Department of Education. Mr. Gordon, please. Yes, good morning. This is Eric Gordon, E-R-I-C-G-O-R-D-O-N, on behalf of the district. Thank you. Mr. Dehan. Ariel Dehan with the Law Office of Felice Gershaw, attorney for the family. Thank you. Parent um, cites an IESP from a prior school year that provided sets, counseling, and occupational therapy. Parent is seeking the same placement for the 22-23 school year. Um, there is a pendency in place. Mr. Gordon, do you know if a resolution was uh, offered on this case, or is it being considered? Um, I've been for you know, I've been forward the resolution uh, a resolution agreement. Maybe council may be able to update me on and update us in reference to what's happening on his end. But I actually okay. see the resolution agreement. It was it went in. Okay. I so I can confirm that we did we did receive the resolution. However, unfortunately, at this time, we're not going to be able to accept it, and we'd be requesting a merits hearing be scheduled. Is it uh, a rate issue, or is there uh, there's something else going on? I believe it's a rate issue. Okay. Um, were you not able? <clears throat> do, you, do you know if um, if there was an effort uh, made to get the district to revise its offer on the rate? Give me one moment. So I think usually they do, or at least they they I, they try to. So, so I believe it is our standard practice that we do normally request. Um, there is a, there is usually a back and forth with the district. I can't confirm it right now um, whether that happened, but um, my my client is asking to for a merits hearing and a merits hearing be scheduled. All right. So it's your belief that you were unable to resolve the rate issue. That's correct. Okay. All right. So um, so the only issue going forward is the rate. All right. The placement itself is not an issue. Um, 15 periods of sets, counseling two times 30 individually, occupational therapy two times 30 individually. Um, so, Mr. Gordon, would, would you be handling this on, on the DOE's end? Excuse me, in reference to the rate issue? Well, I, I mean, going forward, it, it, I, I'm not really yes. sure how, how it works these days. You know, the, the district, the DOE <laughs> changed the, the way they handle these cases. Um, but if it goes forward on merits, it, it would still be you, right? Uh, I'm not sure in reference to our unit. It may actually be um, transferred to uh, one of the other attorneys on my team. However, okay. I am willing, I'm willing to calendar it in reference to my calendar, and we'll just go from there. Okay. Um, so I guess what I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think in terms of scheduling, I'm assuming that the district is not going to be putting on a case, right, because there's no dispute as to the placement. The only dispute is to the rate, so that the parent would have to put on the case as to the rate, you can certainly cross-examine um, whatever witness testimony is presented. But am I correct in in, in assuming that there won't be a, a case in chief on the district's part? I would I would believe at this point, since the re resolution was, was offered, we would just need to deal with the outstanding issue of rate. Uh, okay. All right. Very good. Um, so I could do this, um, let me see, why don't we put it on for the 17th of uh, January, that'll give everyone plenty of time. Uh, HO, that, that week, one of our litigators are, is out, um, so, so okay. we're very tight in terms of scheduling merits hearing. All right, Can no we problem. possibly do this the following week? Yeah, of course. Um, let me see. I have some stuff going on. I could do the 25th, January 25th. Okay. You want to say, um, 
uh, we have we have four merits hearings scheduled at that time. Um, you want to do it earlier? Or I could do it at twelve thirty. Um, I could we could we, could we do a different date? Would that be possible, or like early yeah. in the morning? Um, yeah, the morning's a tough. I could do the twenty sixth um, in the afternoon. That that works. Mr. Gordon, um, that that's not going to work. Uh, that day's not going to work for me. All right. Uh, let's say. Um, how about January thirtieth? That's fine for us too. Uh, time. Um, one thirty. That's oh, actually. You know what, let's make it 2 o'clock. Two, January 30th at 2? Yeah. That's yes, it. Mr. DeHaan, right? so that, that, that works. Um, I so will you be accepting affidavits in lieu of direct testimony? Um, affidavits are fine. Um, so a couple of things. Have the affidavit to the district um, a couple of days in advance. So... Uh, we don't have to, you know, waste time with reading the testimony on the day of. And and then uh, for the district, please let the parent know if you'll need any of the witness uh, who appear by affidavit uh, to be uh, present for a cross-examination. And um, this way we don't need the witnesses unless there's going to be cross-examination. But uh, obviously, if, if the district wants to cross-examine, then you can do affidavits, Mr. Dahan, but you'll have to have the witnesses available. That's fine. Uh, yeah, yeah, yes, uh, Your Honor. I would just uh, just note that since it, if it is likely to be a hearing in reference to this sort of issue, um, we would probably we're probably going to request the live witnesses be available for cross examination. Okay, that's fine. So you'll have the witnesses in standby. That's fine. Um, just make sure uh, you have disclosure to me and to each other no later than January 23rd. That's five business days. I don't think there's any holidays in between. So January 23rd or sooner, so we don't have any issues with that. All right, and then um, let's just address the compliance date so it gets us to the date. I respectfully request the compliance date. I know there's no harm to the parent or child. And Mr. Gordon, you'll join. The district will join in that request. Thank you very much. Okay. We'll see you January 30th at uh, 2 o'clock. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Thank you, Elizabeth. Off the record. Have a great day.